Good afternoon, folks. We're going to hit the top two stories from the last two days because together they basically are the driving forces behind every weather impact we expect during the magnetic pole shift as Earth's magnetosphere weakens and lets in more solar energy. This has already begun but will greatly amplify in the years ahead. And let's begin with the particle forcing. The key thing that our weakening magnetic field will do is let in more charged particles from the solar wind, especially during CME impact. This latest one from this morning is added to the dozens of papers before on how the sun impacts the global electric circuit. This is modulated by the solar wind density and the magnetic field embedded within the solar wind. This paper, like the others before it, describe how this impacts the weather and long-term climate, and it is all based on what the global electric circuit actually is. It's the up and down currents connecting the ground to the ionosphere throughout the whole atmosphere, modulating pressure cell intensity while also controlling the atmospheric electricity within the vertical column. These two things, the pressure and the atmospheric electricity, have an incredible impact on cloud microphysics, which obviously impacts precipitation, including the extreme events. But cloud cover is also the primary controller of surface temperatures and a significant factor in wind and storm power, including lightning all taking a surge as the magnetic field weakens and lets in more of those energetic particles. These particles also aid in ozone destruction, top story from yesterday, which is added to several hundred papers that came before it. As the ozone takes its hit, it allows more UV light to accompany those penetrating particles, and this also has considerable climate effects. Most notably, the global temperatures are impacted by the absorption and re-radiation heat from UV light. This obviously impacts precipitation, it interestingly impacts the jet streams as well, and all of those things impact individual storms and major global oscillations, which control drought, flooding, and more. When you combine these two key facets of the pole shift atmospheric impact, you basically have exactly what they're trying to call modern climate change. But you also have a very concerning situation as you look into the future and recognize that in the next 20 years, will probably take three to four times the change that we've seen in the last 150 years. The global electric circuit and the ozone impact. Understanding these two things is about 90% of what you need to understand to grasp the seriousness of the pole shift for climate change and why it is a major factor in the stress on the biosphere. Subscribe here for daily updates and I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe everyone.